Hello and welcome everybody. I'm your host, NFO Guides, and I'm here to show you what little I know. In this video, we're going to go over two, yes, two things that I've been struggling to figure out with salad. Even though I've been in Discord asking for help, people have been giving me help. I still haven't been, it hasn't been clicking, and I finally waded my through my way through everything and realized uh some misconceptions they had i had so i'm here to clear that up so i'm going to go over two things in salad uh one of them is going to be your machine id where to find it and the second one is if your rig is running or not running a uh work job yeah that sounds simple to everybody but nobody else is spelling it out for us dummies so I'll, if you guys like this kind of content, make sure you like and subscribe below because I recently discovered in my uh, YouTube analytics that of, one, of everybody that's watching my videos, I much thank you, much appreciate it, but only there's 88% of you that are not subscribers. This is, this is scary to me, so please like and subscribe below. And now on to today's topic. Okay. In salad, uh, I'm not going to go over what you know what it is, how it's different than crypto and all that kind of stuff. There's two main things with salad that I've been struggling to find because I now have four computers running salad. So when you come over here to your salad interface and you jump down in through here and you click on earnings per machine. All the machines get these wonderful little hash numbers right here, and that's fine when you only have one or two. But then when you add another one, the ones you had figured out based on, oh, that one's the green one. Oh, that one's the magenta one. Well, when you add another one, yeah, they can change colors. Who knew? So because they changed colors on me, I've been struggling to properly re-identify them. I was guessing half the time, and so I finally figured out how to wade through that mess. So first of all, let me go ahead and, oop, I don't need that full screen. Let me go ahead here and jump over to my salad one rig. I identified it and I made myself a wallpaper. This one here is 5cc156 dot 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 dot. And so, that's this guy right here. So the green one is my salad one rig. This is a Ryzen 9 5950 GPU. Uh, this one has 64 gig of memory and a NVIDIA 3060 uh, video card. It's just normal 3060, 12 gig. It's not a founder's edition, nothing special like that. Just a NVIDIA 3060, 12 gig video card. Okay, so now that I have identified this rig, well, how did I actually figure this out again? Some of you have eight, 10, 12. Uh, everyone was really helpful in Discord, but they were leaving out key pieces. They just said, oh, look at the logs. So I'd look at the logs, I still couldn't find it. Um, so let me bring this back up. So what they were basically telling me to do to find out which machine I was on is you come over here, you open up your little salad thing, and you would click over here and you say, show logs. And they say, just look in the log file. Specifically, look in the bandwidth log file. Now here's the thing. At the time I was asking, I did not have bandwidth turned on in settings. So in the settings for this wonderful thing, uh, let's see, workload preferences, uh, can't remember which screen it's on guys. Uh, da, 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 da. Workload preferences, enabled, elevated permissions, is it advanced options? 
I can't remember where the band loads, uh, bandwidth sharing is at, but mine was not on. Uh, so because mine was not on, when I opened up my log directory, I didn't have any logs to look at. However, if you've got bandwidth turned on and if Salad has actually used your bandwidth, you will have a log, a couple of log directories here. And in those directories, you will have your log files. Okay, let me jump back over to this other machine. So, well, you open up one of these log files, and the very first line in here, uh, you get machine ID right here. Focus on just the starting of it right there. The 5CC1516E right here. That is my machine ID for Salad 1, my Salad 1 rig. So, again, to recap, to figure out these numbers, Salad needs to be do, needs to be enabled for bandwidth sharing, but that won't make the log file. You must have actually had Salad use your bandwidth in order for it to create the first log file. In my case, when I did have it on, it took it a while before I actually saw them appear. So here is one of my other rigs right here. And so here you can see this one here is E324. This is my streaming computer. It runs Salad part time. So that is this guy. And as you can see, it ran in the middle of the night when I'm not using it for streaming and recording videos. And let's jump over and look at one more of the salad rigs here. Not that. Salad 2. So again, you'd come in here. And then we go up here to logs, show logs. Open up one of the log files and it's this very first part, which is, oops, right here, 09BC. 09BC, that's the one, I, I made these wallpapers so, you know, I'm smart like that. Sometimes, not usually. Now, the next problem I've been having is people say, oh, don't turn off your machines if it's running a workload. Well, how can I tell if I'm running a workload? Nobody actually tells me how to check to see if I'm running an actual workload on that computer. So let's go back over here. As near as I can tell, and of course right now I don't have any workloads, right down here where you have estimated next 24 hours, it says calculating. That really means it's doing nothing. I have since learned if there is a, a dollar value down here, an estimate down here, that means I have a work job. The reason I was getting so confused with this is the next misconception. I was allowing my rigs to be used for crypto mining. So what was happening is my machines were always estimating a dollar value down here. It wasn't much, but it was always there. I could not tell the difference between this machine and another machine because they were almost always running something and they were always quite literally so close in value, I, I didn't realize that the values differed per machine. 
I hope that makes sense to people because it was idle period, so they were doing crypto mining. So I hope this helps some other people out there is again, if it has a work job, it'll show up here. This one doesn't. Let me try. Let's see if I can find one of my four machines here. Maybe this one here has a job running. Oh, not that one. That's the computer I'm streaming on. Swift, aren't I? Not that one. We'll just go back to rig one here. But I think all of these are currently not actually doing anything. Yeah, all my rigs are currently in between jobs. So I can't really show that like I was hoping to on this stream. So if you can, I much appreciate. Can you confirm? my thoughts on where to look to see if I have a workload running is in that task trait item down below estimate. If it says calculating because I'm a crypto miner, I thought that meant it was working. It was doing a job, but no, it looks like calculating means it's idle. It's doing nothing. And if you see a dollar value down there, it means it's actually doing a job or a workload. So please let me know in the comments below. Like, subscribe this video if you like this kind of content. Let me know. Let me know. Give me your feedback. What am I doing right? What am I doing wrong? Hit me up below. Thanks, everybody. Peace.